First off, I just want to say, Apple, you guys suck. If you don't know, I've previously made a video on this MacBook. It's an M1 Pro chip. It's pretty good. I use it all the time for video editing, but why? Why do I have a monitor and not the screen? Well, if you didn't watch the last video, it's because this is broken and there's been multiple cases of these going out and unfortunately for you, that screen right there, it is tied to the logic board of the computer and so you cannot replace the screen by just slapping a new aftermarket one on. Nope, you have to go to Apple and get it reprogrammed to your logic board. How much does this cost, you ask? About $1,000 is what Apple would tell you. How much does it cost for a brand new one? About $1,000. So it is just amazing. It is absolutely amazing that Apple can get away with this. I'm not gonna pay $1,000 for a new screen. I started using my monitor in conjunction with the laptop base because it is a pretty powerful laptop. I've been able to do this through HDMI. There's one big problem though, and it's that uh, it, it, it's a laptop, but it's on my desktop. So it's now a powerful desktop. I've previously been fine with this because I have this M1 MacBook. It's not an M1 Pro chip. It only has 256 gigabytes of storage, whereas the other one has a terabyte. This one only has eight gigabytes of RAM, whereas this one has 16. This M1 Pro chip is a better than is M1 chip in basically every single way. So I kind of want to replace this as it, this thing is, it's starting to slow down. It's starting to real show its age because this was brand new in late 2020. It's now late 2024, four year old laptop. So it's really getting there, but it's still hanging on. It's still doing pretty good for its age. Good good job on that front, Apple. This one I've actually replaced the screen on twice. And each one's only cost about 150 bucks. Why can't I do it on this one? I don't know, because Apple hates you and Apple hates me. Okay, okay, so what is the solution here? This There's supposed to be a solution in this video, right? Well, I just got a delivery from Amazon and it's going to be this. It's a 15.6 1080p portable monitor. And so we're gonna go from 14 inches to 15.6 inches. I think this is the smallest I could find for the price that was available. I got it at such a good price. It's like over 50 bucks, 60 bucks or something like that. And I had Amazon gift cards to use. So Amazon gift cards I used. It's just gonna drop onto my lap. Hopefully it's not gonna fall. Nice. Once you remove the top cover, we get this. I'm pretty sure the screen is just right here. And we have a bunch of cables. Oh, I don't want to drop it. Uh, and this is pretty much it. And this is the bottom of the box. That comes out, that comes out super nice. That comes out really nicely. So let's go over a few different things. What you're going to get is a USB-C to USB-C cable, super useful. You're also going to get an HDMI to, is this a mini HDMI? What? Crazy, who still uses mini HDMI? Maybe this thing does. And then you have a USB-C to USB-A cable. You're gonna have your warranty card as well. It comes with a 12 month warranty, 30 day full refund or replacement. But if you scan the QR code here, you can add 12 more months onto your warranty. So two years of warranty. I'm gonna scan this QR code when I'm done here. And then you have your user guide. All right, read it. Now let's get to what I really care about. So you got a simple tab on this one. It's not even a tab. It's just one of those basic peels. And you don't just get a monitor in here, guys. This is pretty cool. Check this out. You get a whole case, a whole little sleeve. It's protected in here. And it's not only protection, but check this out, boys. You can fold it over like this, okay? And then you can, there's a way, hold on. I'm, there's a way, ah, okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, no, I don't got it. Okay, I think I got it. So, think we have to reverse this? No, we don't. What the heck? Guys, I'm straight struggling right now. Okay, so you see the mat, like how it does this? It's literally just held in by friction. There are these two little grooves right here, right here. And right here, so that helps, but I think it's mostly just friction that's holding it up. Okay, that seems pretty stable to me. Let's see if we can get this connected to the MacBook. All right, y'all, and this is it. No more on the monitor. This is it. We are hooked into the laptop. It looks pretty stock, other than the flowing overhead edges. Yeah, that's, um, that's one thing. The screen is a little bit bigger for sure, for sure. The unfortunate part is on the top. Now, if you look at it from the back side, it doesn't look too bad, right? But there's one pretty big issue and that's it is blocking your web camera. So if you care about that, this might, might not be it for y'all. This might not be it for ya. But I think the screen size, amazing. I think this is a perfect screen size. This is great. As you can see, I have my whole 
editing suite right here and everything is super legible. The screen is really sharp. Of, of course, the GoPro is not gonna focus on it, but everything is really sharp. I can scroll through. Everything is really, really nice. Look at that background. Like I said, not the GoPro, but looking at this IRL, it looks good. So I love this, I really do. It's so simple. All you do is use the included USB-C to USB-C cable, put it in the laptop. Now I tried to use like an aftermarket one. This is where you gotta be careful because if you use an aftermarket cable, it might not support the amount of power or data needed to go from the laptop to the monitor. So that's just one thing to look out for. The GoPro cable didn't, even though the GoPro cable does transfer power and data, it just didn't transfer enough for it to be acceptable to this monitor. So I'm gonna use the included cable. And that's pretty much it guys. It's definitely less portable because now you have to carry along this, but the screen is pretty thin. It comes with that carrying case, which is now under my food. But what do you think? Honestly, what, what do you think? I like it. I'm going to keep it. Let me know your thoughts in the description below. Can't wait to hear it. And I hope you appreciate this video because I sure did. There's no way to easily fix the screen on this MacBook. So we're bandaging it and we have an alternative.